The Whistle by James Baldwin. Three hundred years ago, there lived in Boston a little boy whose name was Benjamin. On the day that he was seven years old, his mother gave him a few pennies. He looked at the bright yellow pieces and said, "What shall I do with these coppers, mother?" It was the first money that he had ever had. You may buy something if you wish," said his mother. "And then will you give me more?" he asked. His mother shook her head and said, "No, Benjamin, I cannot give you any more. So you must be careful not to spend these foolishly." The little fellow ran into the street. He heard the pennies jingle in his pocket. How rich he was! Boston is now a great city. Are you ready to learn today? Yeah! Boston is a city of champions, a city of innovators and doers, a city of firsts, a city filled with possibility, a city for everyone. All that we've accomplished is thanks to the hard work and dedication of our entire city workforce. But at that time, it was only a little town. There were not many stores. As Benjamin ran down the street, he wondered what he should buy. Hmm. Should he buy candy? He hardly knew how it tasted. Should he buy a pretty toy? If he had been the only child in his family, things might have been different. <laughs> But there were fourteen boys and girls older than he, and oh my, two little sisters who were younger. What a big family it was! And the father was a poor man. No wonder the lad had never owned a toy. He had not gone far when he met a larger boy who was blowing a whistle. Gosh, I wish I had that whistle. Benjamin said. The big boy looked at him and blew it again. <laughs> oh, what a pretty sound it made! I have some pennies. Said the lad. He held them in his hand and showed them to the boy. You can have them if you give me the whistle. All of them? Yes, all of them. <laughs> wow, it's a bargain," said the boy, and he gave the whistle to Benjamin and took the pennies. Little Benjamin was very happy, for he was only seven years old. He ran home as fast as he could, blowing the whistle as he ran. Oh look, see, mother, I have bought a whistle. Oh, Benjamin, how much did you pay for it? All the pennies you gave me. Oh, dear Benjamin! One of his brothers asked to see the whistle. Well, well, you've paid a dear price for this thing. It's only a penny whistle, and a poor one at that. You might have bought half a dozen such whistles with the money I gave you," said his mother. The little boy saw what a mistake he had made. The whistle did not please him any more. He threw it upon the floor and began to cry. "Never mind, my child," said his mother very kindly. "You are only a very little boy, and you will learn a great deal as you grow bigger. The lesson you have learned today." Is never to pay too dear for a whistle. Benjamin lived to be a very old man, but he never forgot that lesson. Every boy and girl should remember Benjamin's name. He was a great thinker and a great doer. And with Washington, he helped to make our country free. His life was such that no man could ever say, "This person has wronged me." Do you know the man's name who bought the whistle as a child? <laughs> You've got it. Yes, it's Benjamin Franklin. The end.